All right, guys, so uh, today is day two, the last day of our Run It Up Challenge. Again, we ran it up a little bit yesterday. We're gonna go back today. We're gonna sit with 65, and uh, it was kind of our profit, I guess, from yesterday. So we're gonna sit with our profit from yesterday, run it up, but because I kind of got a little shit from the casino on my way out for filming, I kind of knew you weren't supposed to, but whatever, I didn't care. So it's gonna be a bonus episode, double episode. I'm going to go inside and grind it out. And Xandra's gonna go take the camera to a boba shop and to H Mart, which never never been to H Mart, not one of us. So it's gonna be a very merry uh, Xandra episode, and you guys are gonna be in good hands with her. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to running it up, and maybe she's gonna buy us some dumplings. Hey, hey, let's do it. Maybe we show off the haul that I got beforehand, before we go in, so I can kind of show you what stuck out to me, what I felt comfortable buying. I only brought dried stuff, because I wasn't sure how long it would be before we'd get back home, so I didn't want to grab anything frozen. But yeah, so Xandra said the Ace Mart was so cool that after she picked me up that I had to come by and check it out, so we're going to do another little round. Uh, yeah, we're going to find the park. I know this person's done. All right, so before I take Ivan into H Mart for his first time, I'm going to show you guys what I got for my first time. And... So this was a packet of Snackies. It's savory roasted Korean style seasoned seaweed. Oh, okay. And so I thought this would be a crispy savory snack and I figure if you like it, you can take a few on the road so you have something Definitely. to like keep you, keep you going. Oh, baby, very fun. So we've got that. Oh. I also got this that I thought we could snack on now. Oh, wow. And then a few different flavors, but it's crispy Pollock skin chips. Shut up, that is so awesome. Pollock... You know me so well. Oh, oh hit oh, it with I the brim even... of my hat. Yeah. Oh, I love so, any sort of fish skin. Are you kidding me? Yeah, so I thought, and they had um, a wasabi one and a spicy chili pepper, but I thought, let me try their original mild and nice. see if it's about on the original tip before I go try the other flavors and get wacky with it. Also, I, sorry, go ahead. Also, sometimes he doesn't like it when things are too spicy, so I didn't want to exclude. I'm a baby. I'm a little. Uh, the other day I had a Tabasco uh, sauce drip on my pinky and I licked it and I was crying for two hours. We don't do Tabasco in our house. Unless it's a little clam chowder, then we'll, we'll talk. But also, I, uh, I've i had to make salmon skin, crispy salmon skin in a restaurant for a garnish, and it's a pain in the fucking ass. So what is so Pollock? Pollock is a type of fish. Oh, I just, I'm not yeah. familiar with it. Pollock, you, they use it, it a lot in fish and chips in like, uh, yeah, you know. I figured it was fish because it was skin. I didn't even, I should have noticed the picture of the literal fish on there. Yeah. But then on the back when it said planet seafood, I was like, okay, that's gotta be fish. Yeah. But yeah, so I got those. Not the band. Yes. Needs acid. No. That's what I heard somebody, oh, uh, was it Richard Blaze? He ate some food on Top Chef, judging it, and I needed acid. He's like, like a fish concert. This needs acid. Good. Hilarious. Poif McGrath. Okay, I so love you, then love I got some different stir fry noodles. So this Ooh. brand, I was just kind of fascinated by. It's called Mama. Mama. And I just liked the noodle. I just liked, I just liked the look of them, so I got the um, packet of the shrimp flavor because I'm a sucker Ooh. for any kind of shrimp flavored instant Dude, noodle. This girl and her cereal, no, she loves fucking ramen. It's insane. Shrimpy noodle. Like, but like the packet but ramen, like the college broke student. I, they have a cup version, and so I'm trying the cup version with a pork flavor. Nice. And the reason I got these is I double checked, and you can specifically do these without a microwave. It's just like boiling. Which water. we do not own. We don't own a microwave. We're not. We're there's no chef Mike in our uh, kitchen. Yeah. We also do not then, have a toaster or a toaster oven or an air fryer. I also got some of these kinds of instant noodles because Ivan's about to go to Vegas and so I'm going to be back at the house Vegas, baby, Vegas. and I need to 
not spend a ridiculous amount of money on takeout, so I'm gonna try Sushi some- girl? I didn't say nothing. She has a personal relationship with the guys at Roll Stop Sushi because they love her so much. Because Hey, no one's judging you. I'm giving you a no-honk guarantee. You're in a judge-free zone. Sushi and then, girl. So I got this brand of stir. It's instant noodles, but they're fried noodles. So they're like oh, stir-fried noodles. Okay. So you heat them up, and then apparently okay. you put all the seasonings on a plate, and then like kind of mix it all together. At least that's what we gather from the instructions. I'll go more in depth later. And then this last one, I'm really it's like Fantasia. It keeps coming. I'm really excited about this. Is the last one, but it's an instant noodle soup. But it's beef oh, and fermented yes. bean. I love fermented bean. I love fermented bean. Yes. So I'm really super excited for this one. I have a feeling it's gonna be real savory. Fermented right. bean is one of those ingredients that I discovered later in my life when I was a line cook and not all my friends had their Asian phase. My friend Jimmy Bear went to Lee Ming's and bought an ungodly amount of Asian stuff to snack on one day we were hanging out and just getting drunk and listening to records. And it was insanely delicious. It was like the fermented tofu that tasted like buffalo wing somehow, and like black bean paste and all oh, this good shit. Can we look at the bag? Beautiful. H Mart since 1982, exactly what I said. And it's the best of Asia in America. Nice, and a really good reusable bag. Shouts to LA and California for having really strong reusable bags. They charge you 10 cents for them, but they're worth it because they're very strong. All right, well, let's go in. Uh, I'll give you guys an update on how it went to me, uh, how it went for me on my day two of the run it up. Uh, and yeah, let's go in there and uh, check it out. Oh, Ube, right? Love that, yeah. Oh, look at this. This makes a really good soup. Double cut? Yeah, you split it in the middle and you roast it and then you run it through a tammy. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's so good. A little rice wine vinegar, some honey, chive. A little bit of coconut milk. Really good. Actually, you know what? Let's get some. What? Isn't that, it's, we don't even have a blender. No, no, no. Well, let's get more snacks. We'll come back for proper groceries. What I really want to get into this habit is figuring out different things. You have the duck eggs. Those are dope. Preserved duck eggs. These things are gnarly. I've always wanted to try them. Nice, they look pretty fresh to be freaking off. Oh, they look amazing. I got eggs from my head down to my legs. Oh, bro. Whole black Yo, whole, whole black whole garlic. garlic. How much is that? That's got to be expensive, dude. When I was in the restaurant, we used to buy this and it was not cheap, bro. Damn, we used to make it ourselves, but it's it's labor intensive. No shit. Okay, that's how you know it's real. They have oh, whole 10, black garlic. Okay, it's only ten ninety nine. So when I used to order this back in North Carolina, this I, I, this was never gonna be 10.99, so this is cool. For all you chefs, you better come out here. I want to get the steamer for the. It's aluminum and it's designed to go directly on the burner. It's like a glass that's tempered. Xander's already planning our whole next paycheck. Yeah. Two handle off. We need to get a steamer for the dumplings. Oh my god, baby, look at these pans. Okay, come on now. Where's the Duke blue ones at though? I can't do no Carolina. I ain't no Carolina pans in my house, man. If she was cooking, maybe she could have a Carolina pan, but not me. Yeah, I want to get a steamer, like a bamboo steamer for like the buns. Oh yeah, like this. Oh, they're not bad. That's a great price, dude. Yeah. No, no, no. But when we come, guys, they also have really great cuts. Look at that. Intestines, honeycomb tribe. You got your duck tongue. You have all the nasty good bits, man. That's the good stuff right there. That's how you develop flavor. Beautiful. Goats, look at that. Oh, they have beef tendon, dude. You can do chicharrones out of that. So if you guys out there, for all you chefs or want to be chefs, buy frozen beef tendons and then slice them on a meat slicer, super thin, and then you fry them and they turn into like beef tendon puffs, like chicharrones, they're awesome. I learned that at GTB from Travis Robinson. Oh my gosh, look at this meat. That's like for like the Korean barbecue. Yeah. Whoa. Oh my god, look at these fucking beef ribs, bro. Wow, they're not cheap, but those are gorgeous, man. Look at the oxtail. They got the soup bones. That's awesome. Everything is cut perfectly for like Korean barbecue. That's awesome, bro. They also have the good spam and the good beans, but I stayed having this in my house. This was a classic at my mom's house, bro. The spam and beans, oh, baby. With some fucking flour tortillas, bro. That's 
Good eating right there. See, Latino, Asian culture. We have a lot of similarities, but we have our differences, you know? It's about coming together as one to eat delicious food, like mamacitas. Well, they have a double mix in the Asian market. There you go, see? We're all trying. Oh, look what we found. You might call them Vienna sausages. But in Sanford, North Carolina, we call them Vienna sausages. That's right, we eat them with crackers and hot sauce. Man. You never tell me that, my homie Patrick Bryan, AKA Breezy, one of the best cooks I've ever worked with. I mean, he's a teacher now. He works, uh, he lives in Baltimore with his beautiful wife and their beautiful baby. But yeah, shouts to you. All right, we're, we're, in, we're in a weird decision. Salmon row, right? Tabago? Yeah, uh-huh. It's like the so little, it's like, Tabago's like the little egg. So this one's seaweed and salmon egg. Yeah, I but think. this is kimchi flavor. For rice, that would be amazing. A little bit of egg, rice, some rice wine vinegar, yeah. some shoyu. I think we're gonna get this uh, kimchi seasoning. Yeah. Or do you want to get the traditional? They're so cheap, it's like, I can't even pick. No, let's try the kimchi. I'm All right, let's do it. Because that way, I was looking at buying kimchi, but I was like, I don't know if that'll go through it fast enough. So trying out a seasoning. Yeah, the seasoning will be really good. And then we just gotta get some rice and then some, uh, where's like the vinegar, some of the soy section? That's so we the get style. Okay, let's do it. This is all the stuff I wish I could order at the restaurant back in the day and that my chef would never let me. Now it's all here. Oh, here, we go. here it is, show you. This is what I was looking for. This is like the Supreme, ooh, double fermented. No, we're just gonna go with regular fermented. Oh my God, baby, you're the girl of my dreams. It's a little more expensive, but maybe there's a cheaper double fermented. No, this is a, cool. Double fermented shoyu. There you go, baby. Cool. What so, is shoyu? It's just like a really fermented, fermented soy sauce. It's like deeper and richer in flavor than any soy sauce. Because you probably grew up with like Kiko Man, right? Like me. Or like La, La, La Choy. But this is like deeper. It's delicious. It's, it's very special. Oh, yeah. That's how you know you eat a lot of rice. Yeah, the, I'm sorry. I believe I ordered the large cappuccino. Hello. Okay, I literally did not know there were this many types of rice. Oh, that's amazing. Mung bean, soybean. No naan, I've never even heard of. Red rice. Jasmine brown, they have forbidden black rice, which is really hard to cook if you don't know what you're doing. It can be really gummy and not, not exactly texturally optimal, we'll say, if you don't know what you're doing. I, I do not know what I'm doing. I would never attempt to cook forbidden rice on Top Chef because I would fuck it up as I've never made it before, so here we go. The problem with this is we're just looking for your ordinary old bag of rash. We do have some at home. We can maybe like... I just don't even know these kinds of prices. Yeah, I mean, that's probably your best bet, just that kind of standard little $5.99 or yeah, up even up here. Because I know how to cook it well, I just, it doesn't have to be super fancy though. This is all really cool looking nice. Yeah, well, nice. Beautiful. Look at they got the bags for the two. You know, the bags, like it's only $2 a pound. That's really good. And they have the radish stuff too, the Napa radish. That's really good. And they have just the packaged like pickled radish. Yeah, yeah. We used to get this at Lee Minx for uh, the restaurant. Vegan kimchi for all the vegans out there. I don't like the vegan one, it's not as good. No, no, Nothing really vegan is as good as the real thing. Just saying, sorry. Sweet, so Susanna's getting us some dumplings, because you can actually get prepared food here. It's Korean, they got the bibimbap, they have all kinds of oxbow soup. The oxbow soup looks banging. If we weren't in a hurry, we gotta get back to San Pedro, but otherwise I would stop and get a bowl of bibimbap. They also have the bean curds too, so they got a lot of good stuff here, guys. So come check it out. Got a dope bakery. We're getting all these sides alone or worth it, man. Korean bean paste, so. Check out H Mart, man. Let's go check out some of these uh, ready to made soups and shit, too. Hold on, what is up? We got all kinds of stuff, bro. Soup, ramen broth, soybean flour. Look at that. I don't know what half of this stuff is. They're always pretty fire, guys. Okay? And then, boom. All kinds of seasoned peppers and like, the fixins. The fixins, Kenny. They got the fixins. Looks like this used to be like a little food hall, but I guess Corona and COVID shut that down, but it'll be back open. We're almost out of it, y'all. But you gotta come out and support people, you know what I'm saying? You gotta step out of your comfort zone and come explore other cultures, you know? That's how we all get together and get better as people. Hell yeah. Yep. All right, nice. 
first time. Pretty good price too. You want me to get that for you? Yeah. I'll grab this. All right, now we're all set. We're all good. Let's go do it. So I have a cool idea for a dish. I'm gonna do rice with uh, the crab that she got over it, and then maybe like a sunny side of eggs, some of that rice seasoning, and then a Texas pea hollandaise. Almost like a riff on like a crab benedict, but uh, rice instead of the English muffin. You know what I mean? We'll see. I think it's gonna be delicious. Mm. I just realized this H part. I think it's, I didn't realize it's kind of like Kmart, but with an H, I didn't realize that. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, but that's funny. So I'm gonna see if it gloves on the wings of gloves. That's funny. It's a good joke. Eh. Good's a strong word. Joke is an even stronger word, I suppose. Let me put on my glasses so you guys don't see how embarrassed I am for bombing in front of fucking no one. That's my favorite joke. It's like, yeah, I have a YouTube channel. Three subscribers, and my dad's two of them. And then I pause for no laughs. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, yeah, he's having trouble uh, logging into his first gotebit.net email account, so it's a long story. And then it just gets worse from there, as, the, as it tends to, to happen with my fucking horseshit half an act. <laughs> When are you gonna stop being so hard on yourself, that's so I don't know, bro. Maybe when I fly, okay? Is that what you want from me? Who am I talking to? Babe, I'm just snapping off over here on these foods. Instead of helping the old missus, I'm staring at her caboose and making stupid jokes to you people. Ugh. No wonder my dad is disappointed in me. Just kidding, my dad loves me. I think, he said he did. He's not a liar. It's a liar, Cool. Is it a regular or a large? Uh, whatever you size you guys for. Do you remember on Top Chef? This place is cool. Alright, so we're gonna wrap it up. But Xandra, my baby, she came to the 70s, Seven Leaves, the Boba place, uh, Seven Leaves Cafe, uh, while I was playing, and then she came to H Mart. Obviously you saw we were in H Mart and got some snacks, but then she bought me a boba because I've never really drank these before until we moved to LA and she knows way more about this kind of stuff than me because she's more cultured than I am. Uh, I mean, I like to listen to like the Migos culture and culture too, but she's, you know, pretty cultured, you know, she's no, a white woman. What am I supposed to do?